I used to make these prank call CDs. And, and yeah, I want to well. know everything about that. OK. <laughs> you can know whatever you want about okay. it. Yeah, you have carte blanche. So who do you call and what were you saying? A lot of the premises were kind of similar, actually, looking back. But, but you know, I would often do this one where I would call and pretend to be a celebrity's assistant. And I would. Like who? Like um, Toby McGuire one time. Um, <laughs> who I know now, and when I told him the story, he, I, I don't know if he found I think he found it funny. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> um, but uh, I pretended to be Toby Maguire's assistant one time during Oscar season in Los Angeles. Um, and I called this really dingy small hotel that would never be housing like um, Toby, Maguire. Toby Maguire or a huge actor or something, you know? And I said, hey, I, you know, my client, my, my boss is thinking of staying here but he has a few guidelines before he's going to like say yes. I start listing off normal demands, and then I'm like, he travels with animals, like some animals, <laughs> right? And they're like, what kind of animals? And I'm like, well, it's the size of a mid-sized dog, but it's aquatic. <laughs> and they're like, OK, well, what's that? And basically, I like, say that Toby travels around with like baby dolphins and <laughs> how all the irrigation tubes and how the water filtration will work and everything. And they just would agree to, to everything. And so um, I would do that one a lot. That was one that I would do a lot. What's interesting is I still do it now all the time. Like, um, but not for people. This may even sound weirder. You just I, do it for your own amusement? Well, I do it to get in the character. But, but it's not really quite who I am now. You, you, know? you said something to me the other night that, that was really touching. You, your, your film comes out, you're very young. Suddenly you're on billboards in LA and, and elsewhere. The movie's all over the place. It's incredibly popular. And you go from being yourself mm -hmm. to this famous person. Mm -hmm. And you said, you know, the thing about me is I'm really shitty about being famous. I don't, it's not that I resent it. I just, I, I don't crave it. I'm not, I'm not good, at, good it. at it. That yeah, was that, the phrase you used. I, I'm not good at it. What does that you, mean? Whoever, what does it mean? <laughs> I'm not good at being a famous person. I think there's people that I know through acting who are really good at it, and I'm just not. I'm nervous up here right now talking to you guys. Um, I get like, also I'm famous for being funny too, which is really interesting right. because if you meet someone and they think you're funny and you're on the street and you just got dumped, like, <laughs> you're not gonna be that fucking funny. You know what I mean? Like. You're going to be like, excuse me. And then they're like bummed out that you're not funny, you know? So like I think what's interesting about being like labeled a comedian is that I have such, like, like comedians can be funny all the time. I wish I could do that. I wish I could live in a world where you were just like able to be funny all the time. But you yeah. do get a phone call from somebody, maybe singular in American movies today among living directors, Martin Scorsese. You know, I, how many years before were you, you know, making crank phone calls at a at oh, at, <laughs> in, at New School, and suddenly you're getting a? F this must be must blow your mind. Being a writer director was my dream when I was a kid, right? My life took this insane curveball into acting, and the second I thought of any movie, any movie that I wanted to write, act, watch, I wanted it to be Goodfellas. Right? That, to me, is the greatest film ever made, bar none. Nothing comes close to it, in my opinion. And the reason why I feel that way is because I felt the same way about it I did when I was nine that I do now as a 32-year-old man. Very few movies have that capability. It's dangerous. It's hysterical. It's truthful. It's about real people and how people treat each other and how they act. And... Um, my goal in life was to even just meet the person who made that movie. So you couldn't fill a billion notebooks with all the stuff that I learned from being around him. But, I mean, it's everything. Also, you're in, when you make a movie with him, you're in, you're in movie utopia, meaning like, okay, you like rehearsal? We have three months rehearsal in a grand rehearsal hall. You know, it's like you, um, you know... Whatever, you want more takes? We can shoot this scene, we'll shoot the scene, same scene all day. You know what I mean? It's like this incredible utopia led by, you know, arguably the greatest person to do it, you know? So I wrote is, him a letter is, at the end yeah. 
And I said, um, thank you for the most amazing experience of my life. Thank you for everything you've taught me. And everyone else is just egg noodles and ketchup. 